Welcome back! Well, we finally finished Feist in the last video, and we are now ready to move on in the level called One-Sided Trench. So I think I see how to solve this. You just have to push this there, do this. There we go. Hopefully that's the bold route. Probably the only bold route I'll ever get in this set. And now we can move on to... Oh no, we're not going to do that again. Let's move on to the next level that we haven't completed, which is called The Bone. So let's see what this is like. This looks to be another block pushing level. Looks like an interesting one. Hmm. This is rather... Wow, okay, this is a very interesting design. I like this already. Okay, so I take it we're supposed to push... Well, do we push four down there or one in there? And I'm probably... Yeah, I'm probably forced now to push this one here. I'm guessing we probably had to push the four down there first, but let's just take a look and make sure. Oh, okay, no, we do, we do, we did do it the right way. Okay, so that's good to know. So yeah, I am liking this design so far. This is a pretty cool concept, and I can see that the bone shape here is vertical, and we're the top part of the bone. And let me release this guy. Okay, there we go. And now we just got another puzzle here involving a few more blocks. Let's push these ones down. Okay, so I can see that there's two needed there and three needed there, so I need to push this one to the left. It might have still been solvable. Yeah, I, th I think it would have been solvable even if I pushed it to the right, but it's good to be safe, right? And I gotta say, this is probably one of my favorite designs in the set. I mean, it's a nice, short, simple level. I like the fact that it's not just another block-pushing level. It's actually got a nice uh, uh, aesthetic to it. It's not, like, so compressed that it's, like, really, really tough, but it's not so simple that it's just too easy either. So it's a very nice middle-difficulty block-pushing puzzle that's on the easier side. So very well done, Rock. I really enjoy that level. Probably one of my favorites in the set. And now we move on to Life is a Green Grid. I don't know if that's a reference to something or not. Maybe it's like a song or a... Maybe it's like a play on words or something. I don't know, but let's see here. This looks like a... Hmm. Okay, so I need to get to the end there. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is going to be a little dodging puzzle here. Not too... Not too much on the... On the long side, though. Okay, so I'm going to have to figure out how to wait there before the ball goes back. So this shouldn't be too bad. Okay, I went on, on the opposite time there. That didn't quite go so well. Okay, so I don't know why I keep messing up here, but for some reason I just keep going at the wrong time. I keep forgetting the rhythm of this whole thing here. Okay, I forgot that that ball has to stay there for a little bit before the other ball passes. Okay, guys, I'll get this one. This shouldn't be too bad. Okay, come on. Oh, wow. Okay, did I just miss a move there, or is it really impossible to get to the... Wow, okay, this is quite crazy here. Because... There has to be one move that you're allowed to get in there, right? I mean, am I just missing something, or? There we go. Okay, so I did miss a move before. All right, that was simple enough. And now we move on to the next level. The day nymphaeas were invented, and I'm not sure I pronounced that correctly. I do know that nymphaeas are, I think, water lilies, or... I know this level had another title initially called, like, ninufars, or, like, I forgot exactly what they were called, but I think they're like a French term that obviously Rock would know because he's French, so I'm not exactly sure though, but uh, this is looking rather interesting so far. It looks like we have to bridge to these various islands. I can see another one over there, and it looks like we're going to have to get the, the teeth out of here, which could be an interesting challenge, so I'm going to bridge a double bridge here just so I can get the teeth out without having to risk anything and take a 50-50 chance. Okay, so let me see here. 
Oh, right. I can't do it. Okay, there we go. These islands are shaped such that you would have to do a little bit of a bridge out in order to make sure that the teeth drown. So where's the next one? I can't see another one, so I'm just going to go over here to the right one. Whoa, okay, watch out there. So yeah, I'm liking this level so far. This is a nice level that's rather reminiscent of, like, On the Rocks, but it doesn't seem quite as bad in terms of being tedious. At least I hope this, this isn't, like, super big. And I'm hoping I'm not going to get ridiculously murdered, as Rock would say, by a glider in the face here at some point. So I'm just going to have to be on my guard and make sure that the glider doesn't clobber me or anything. Okay, so one more block here. And we should be okay. So I'm just going to kill this teeth right here in the water. Revert back to this point, And looks like we have another path that we can take up here. Okay, so yeah, this is going really well. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the title means as far as the day nymphias or whatever these things are called were invented. I mean, how are the, how is this inventing them? I'm not exactly sure. I don't know if the block pushing has something to do with it. Maybe the clearing of the dirt has something to do with it. Uh, maybe this is a, another song title or movie title or something I don't really know about. But it's an interesting level. I mean, I like this a lot. It's a, it's a nice concept. It's not too difficult. You can bridge uh, to various places fairly. And I saw another thin wall in there, which, yeah, there's another block cloner there. So I'm, I'm, at least I think that's a block cloner. No red button to speak of as of yet, but it looks like that might be another block cloner. So I'm hoping that we can use this to get to places more quickly. Ah, here we go. So I don't know if there's another thing on the left there or not, but I'm just going to bridge here to the right, which thankfully is fairly simple. No complicated turns involved, at least very much. And I better start bridging up here as well. So yeah, not much to talk about here. Thankfully there's no gliders up here, it seems like. I like the fact that a lot of Rock's levels have an interesting design aesthetic to them, and they're not just like plain block pushing puzzles, plain dodging levels, except for, uh, probably except for Be Quick or Be Dead. But other than that, most of these levels have something unique about them, which I think is really cool. It's always nice to have a good aesthetic to levels because, I mean, they help them stand out from levels with the same concept. I mean, if you think about it, I mean, level designing has pretty much exhausted most of the concepts that are out there. I mean, there are still some that have yet to be explored in full, but to be honest, most of the concepts are very familiar to us. I mean, we've got item swappers, we've got, you know, various types of puzzles like Sokoban and, you know, things like that. So we've got, blo you know, block pushing like this, where you just push blocks into water and clone blocks, and we've got teleport mazes, mazes that just are plain mazes, chip collecting levels. I mean, there are, t there are certain... I guess you could say tropes in Chips Challenge that have been used up quite a bit. And it's just nice to see levels that do something different and aren't just the norm. And a level like this, it's an interesting concept. I like how it ties it into an, like a real world sort of thing with you know, something in nature in this case. And the same goes for levels that are based on like a game, like Get a Clue in CCLP3 or some of the other levels there like you know Super Chip or... Uh, uh, or even concept game levels like Ollie Ollie Oxen or uh, what are some other ones? Um, you know, Checkers, for instance, although that's more just a design thing and not like the actual game. I suppose Pocket Puzzle might fit in there. It's supposed to be a takeoff on, you know, little puzzle things where you have to like roll a ball around a little maze and you have to get it to like the center or something and you have to like swing the thing around or. You know what I mean. It's like one of those things. Okay, so now we got this teeth killed there. And we got that chip. Looks like we got another chip down there. Thankfully, it doesn't look like there's much left in, the, in terms of chips or hopefully block pushing to do. So yeah, these levels I, I really like a lot. They're some of my favorites. Like the bone, for instance. I mean, that wasn't a game, but I mean, it was something in the real world that we all knew. 
I mean, you could say the same thing about Nice Day, but I mean, I f from Chips Challenge One. But I mean, personally, I don't find Nice Day to be quite as interesting as a level like this, for instance. But you know, to each his own. I mean, I still enjoy it to a certain extent as an easier level. So speaking of easy levels, I've been designing some levels um, to submit for the potential CCLP1 project, and even if that doesn't come to pass, I hope to submit them just as part of a revamped level set. I'm trying to design levels that are easier in nature, but aren't trivial per se. And that has been an interesting challenge, because to be honest, it's really easy to want to make things difficult and put something in there to you know mess players up or something like that. So that's one challenge I've been, I've been having. And the other challenge, of course, is just trying to make sure that I include things in levels that allow new players to discover certain concepts, like, you know, don't put a block to an edge of a level or a room where it won't be usable, use, usable or useful or whatever I'm trying to say. I'm, I don't know exactly what I'm trying to say here, but where it won't be use, uh, pushable anymore, basically. Uh, you know, things like that. You know, how do you teach players those kinds of concepts? So... I've been trying to come up with levels that are tutorial levels that don't quite follow the original game's formula in terms of just introducing the buttons and the walls and, you know, thieves and just things like that. I, I kind of want to take it a little slower in terms of a learning curve and present things a little bit at a time. So I'm hoping that the new level set will have like 200 levels when it's done. And that may be a bit much, but... Okay, I'm just going to lead these teeth out here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this wasn't hard. There we go, and the teeth are all taken care of, and we can now go to the exits. Sweet! And we are done with Nymphias. Alrighty guys, well it looks like we got another dirt century level coming up called Artifacts, but we will play it in the next video.